guys so today is Monday and I am still in the step down unit in the hospital and I am uh, I was waiting all morning and part of the afternoon to get the embolization for my lungs to um, for them to go in it's a procedure that they do to go in and find the areas where my lungs are bleeding and hopefully close them up but unfortunately um, they canceled it and I've been waiting all morning and afternoon and found out that they're not going to do it today and which I am frustrated and annoyed about because I wish they would have let me know earlier because I couldn't eat anything due to the anesthesia and now it's 2.30. They let me know around 1.30 an hour ago. So they told me that it's gonna be tomorrow, which is um, the time that I was originally scheduled for, but we still don't have time. So we don't know. And interventional radiology around here is uh, very unpredictable. So um, God only knows when and what time it'll get done tomorrow and if it will. You know, hopefully they set them on the schedule, but who knows. So we'll be waiting to find out um, when that will get done. So my parents just ran down to get me something to eat because I'm hungry. And um, they brought me in some food, but I wasn't really uh, in the mood for it. I had half of it. And they just ran to get me some soup. I'm not feeling too great. My head is hurting. And I'm going to just rest. And um, yeah. So that's really it. And I'm still hooked up to all my monitors here when you're on the step down unit, which is the unit right below ICU. Due to all the bleeding, they want to keep a close eye on me and that way they are um, right here in case any more bleeding happens. So I am hooked up to two heart monitors. So one which is in the room here behind me, you can see. It's a heart monitor, blood pressure cuff, and pulse ox. So these are the tubes for everything, not tubes, wires, sorry. So here's everything. And then another um, heart monitor over here, so I have double V. And of course you guys know I already have my port, so yeah, that's what's uh, going on here. And there's my IV bags behind there. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's what's happening here. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna rest. Maybe I can go for a walk after. I'm on, um, what's called droplet isolation, which most, uh, people with CF, we're usually always on drop, um, isolation. But I'm on droplet because they, um, swabbed me and I have, I guess, the cold, common cold, rhinovirus thing going on. So, um, yeah. So everybody comes in uh, masks with shield masks and gowns and gloves and all that. So when I go outside, I have to get um, gloves and masks, which I wear anyway when I go out there. So if I could go for a little walk after that, would be great. And um, due to the bleeding, I didn't do chest physiotherapy, chest PT, yesterday. And they don't want me doing um, chest PT the day before the procedure so now today I will miss more chest VTs so I'm just relaxing over here and trying to keep this migraine at bay so we'll see that's all that's going on so anyway I'm hoping that tomorrow will be okay Rosario went to work today and I'm glad he did I told him go because my mother actually took off of work to come which sucks because she took off for nothing it was waste and my father stayed overnight last night, so that way I had help and company, you know, because I wasn't feeling well. And, um, yeah, so he's here too. And uh, thankful to have help and to have my parents. And, um, you know, because Rosario obviously can't be here 24-7 all the time, so. Yeah, blessed to have family. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's really it. And I guess I will give you guys an update as um, we find out more information as to what's happening. Okay guys, so it is bedtime. And um, I'm just getting all tucked in over here. And I am going to go to sleep. And Rosario is Hello. 
Yeah, I'm trying yes, to hold the light here. <laughs> so you can see us. So he is going to, um, here. fortunately they have nothing for him to sleep on. Um, I told him to try and snuggle up with me, but too many wires. Unfortunately, here. yeah, there's a lot of wires. We got uh, pulse ox. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. All of these wires here. No, there's no a space. lot. And there's another heart monitor to the right of us on this side over here and the port. And there's just, there's just too much crap. But hospital stays were never meant to be easy, right? Nope, they were. Or comfortable. <laughs> No. So there's too much shit. And, uh, it's just frustrating. But anyway, so poor Zario's in a chair. And, um, yeah. He's just the best. And, um, just thankful to have him and love him so much. You're and the best, and I love you so much. No, I'm not the best. Thanks. But anyway, yeah. So Zario has to go to work tomorrow. Which I hate to do. Not because I hate work, I'm not saying I hate work. I just, I don't like not being here. It stinks. Yeah, it really does. it's okay. It Times happens. like this, I wish I was a millionaire so I could stay home <laughs> and be with you. It's okay, that's but, life. But, but I am thankful that we have help and Joe's parents are gonna be here. And um, I'm kinda out of sick time, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what happened, if right? I had to be here and nobody could be here for us, then there would be no choice. But I'm thankful that we have options and a choice, so. Yep. Right? Me too. Yep. In a way, it's a blessing. And it is. That's what family's for, right? Yep. yep. I'm never meant to do things alone. That's mm. not how we were designed. Yeah, so. Right. Okay, we're going to go to sleep. And my NPO started. Nothing by mouth. I never understood NPO. Yeah. It's nothing by mm. mouth. Shouldn't it be like NBO, but it's NPO. NBO. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, the I mean, P has to stand for it has something. To be for something yeah. It means it means nothing by mouth, yeah. but it must stand for something else. Sure. I'm usually good with medical terms, but NPO. I'm a little bit slow with that today, so. Okay. Alrighty, We're going for round two. Yeah. And I happens. explained to you guys what happened. Hopefully but, tomorrow yeah. is some good news and hopefully, hopefully tomorrow we do the procedure. And well and yeah. it'll help her. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. Because yeah. they said they have very, obviously they're very successful with doing the pulmonary em embolizations. But there's always... What are they called? Arterial bronchial yeah. embolizations. There's always some but risks though. The risks, when they read me the risks, I was like, um, okay. One of the risks, very rare, is uh, it's like one paralysis chance. of the lower extremities. body. So, meaning your hopefully legs, God's grace, your feet, that mm, won't happen. Everything so. weighs down, so. You know, God, I don't know. I think by God's grace, we'll she'll be fine. And we'll take it a day at a time, right? Yep. We have to also consider the benefits. This bleeding has been an issue, and yeah. you know, so it's been three major lung bleeds in the past three years. So and then, well, the past the past not even the past year, the yeah. past seven eight months, yeah. I've had two pretty big ones, so, and one just happening yeah, the other night. So and the other one back in March, which yeah. with that being said, there's. Plenty of reason to do this, you know, yeah. and to give it a shot. So, and there has been other people that have done more of them, more procedures like this, and they've been fine. So, and basic procedures they learn. Three, I'll just. So, I yeah. guess it's almost like dentists and root canals and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and they do it a lot of Sounds scary, stuff. and they can hit a nerve and do a lot of things with root canals too, but it's usually successful. So hopefully one of those things. All right, we're gonna get some rest. He has work and I'm gonna try and sleep so I don't get too hungry. Yeah. <laughs> or thirsty. Yeah. Can I guys? They said I probably go in the afternoon, so. True. Wait morning afternoon. So, okay. Sleep on. Oh wait, mate, I think I have to take some insulin. Yeah, a little bit. I forgot, okay.
Good night, guys. Good night. Thanks for watching. She's about to go in for the procedure. Anything you want to say? I'm a little nervous, but nervous. I guess it's time. I mean, it's here. Get it done and hopefully fix the bleeding issue. Yeah. Jillian is going in now, and um, let you guys know how everything goes. Ready to go in? Nervous? I'm as ready as I'm going to be. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're here, we're waiting. And, um, yeah, you'll have to stay here. guys, look who's here. She's awake. She's in recovery. I thought I was going to come in here and find her like this. But no, she's wide awake. And she actually uh, stayed awake through the whole thing. She's a trooper. They couldn't knock you out? They couldn't knock me out. They gave me like three or four injections and I just... Well... I got a little sleepy, but... Nothing. She just didn't want to get knocked out. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you. I was dying so I kept saying, please make me... Please knock me out. Please make me out. Please make me out. My honey made it through. And, uh... Yeah. This is a bracelet that has like the uh, air, air pocket that keeps pressure on the artery. And they literally went through the wrist all the way up her arm. Into my chest. That light. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Another thing to add to your, on your belt. Absolutely.